Listen. Hey everyone, this is Mark, and today I'll be covering what you should know about Cloudera Machine Learning, also called CML. This is the first video in a series of videos that will cover how to use CML with some examples and demos. Before we dive deeper into the machine learning experience, let's cover the layout of the Cloudera data platform to get an idea where CML fits in. The Cloudera data platform, which we just call CDP, is Cloudera's new entry into the enterprise data cloud market. CDP Public Cloud consists of multiple experiences, each with its own unique set of capabilities. The platform is connected by our shared data experience, also known as SDX, to provide common security and governance. Back to Cloudera Machine Learning. Cloudera Machine Learning allows teams to immediately deploy machine learning workspaces that auto-scale to fit their needs and auto-suspend to save costs by using Kubernetes. All of this is packaged into a portable experience that can be accessed by multiple team members easily to provide a consistent experience across an organization. Let's navigate to the ML Workspaces tab in the CDP control plane. Here is a list of all the workspaces associated with all the environments we own. This is where you'll manage provisioning, deleting, and updating different workspaces. Let's go to a workspace that Cloudera employees share for demos and training. If you use Cloudera Data Science Workbench, aka CDSW in the past, this will all look extremely familiar to you. Let's start at the top in the Projects tab. This is where all your private or shared projects will show up. Let's go ahead and create a new project. Users can choose to load a template based on a preferred language, start with a blank project, import from the user's computer, or even clone from Git. All right, let's give this project a name and I'm going to choose the Python template for this time. Once you're in a project, you can see the project files, any scheduled jobs that are set, and models that are deployed. We can start an interactive notebook session by hitting Open Workbench. You can choose to change the editor if you configured other editors already, such as Jupyter Notebooks. Projects can contain files written in different languages, so for each session, you can choose between working in Python, Scala, or R. And the fun part, your admin would have already set up some pre-configured hardware profiles that you can choose from. When you launch a session, Kubernetes spins up a pod that you'll connect to directly. Now that I'm in a session, I can write shell and Python commands interactively. I can also open a terminal directly to the pod and write commands there. The Sessions section lets you look at a history of the sessions that you have already run, or are actively running. If you have any active sessions, you can open or stop them from here as well. The Experiments section allows you to run, you guessed it, experiments with your models. This is a good way to do hyperparameter optimization or compare various models against each other quickly. Once you're ready to deploy a model, you head to the Model section, CML allows you to deploy models that are accessible via an API call. If instead you would like to schedule a script to run like a cron job, you can do that in the jobs section. The application section allows you to deploy a web application or dashboard so you can easily share the results of your model with business stakeholders. So that was a really quick tour that probably left you with a bunch of questions. No worries, we'll be covering more topics around Cloudera machine learning such as how to use experiments, how to deploy a model, how to use jobs, how to deploy an application, how to use custom engines, and way more. Thanks for watching today. Let us know in the comments if there are any topics that you would like us to cover, and subscribe to be notified of our upcoming videos. Also, if you have any questions about CDP, make sure to check out the Cloudera community. There's a link in the description to take you there. Until next time.